Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, guys. I'm having a great day. Happy, happy, wonderful Wednesday um, to you all. I pray that everyone is um, coming up with some amazing hauls. As you guys can see all across the YouTube streets, we burning it up, baby, with these hauls that we are getting from these different stores right now. The plug is at Family Dollar. So I hope that you have gotten out here in these streets. I wanna take um, a quick moment while I'm in between time going from one store to the other to give you guys some pointers. I know some of you are new at shopping. Some of you are new at gift basket designing. Some of you are just new at business altogether, okay? So I wanna talk with you guys about um different different things that you should know while out shopping and um trying to get these deals okay first thing i want to say is what i always say what's for you is for you okay what god has intended for you is for you whether it be five baskets whether it be 25 bars of soap at a discounted price whatever it may be God will have those things in alignment for you, okay? So I said that once you know that and once you really, really believe it in your soul and your spirit and not just saying it with your mouth, you will then know that whatever it is that God intend for you to get, that you gonna get it regardless. It don't matter who get out there first. It don't matter because guess what? You can have somebody to get out there before you do, but your eyes may be more trained or more skilled than their eyes are, okay? I've been doing this for so long, like I, that's just a gift that I have from God to spot out stuff that other people leave behind. So even when people tell me, oh, I've been in that store or I go into a store and there's somebody already in line with a bunch of stuff, I always like 99.9% .9 of the time can go right behind them and pick up stuff and sometimes not just a little bit of stuff i can pick up a cart full of stuff after somebody have been in the store saying that they've gotten everything or when i go i've gone in and a lot of times let me put a point a point right here a stick a pen right here a lot of times um because i do this so much people know me at stores they know me in the community <laughs> A lot of times they act like they don't, but they know who I am. And so when I go into stores, hey, how you doing? He all in this car, praise God. Um, when I go into stores, cashiers will be like, oh, somebody just came and got everything. And they'll say it like in a little sarcastic, jokingly type way. And I'll go right in the store and pick up tons of stuff. And I'll be like, mm, well, whoever it was that came in here, they must didn't know what was on sale or they just didn't see it or something. Um, because some people, you know, not everybody in this have a positive attitude. Not everybody has a positive um, motive behind them either working at the store or shopping. So that's why I say to you guys, like the way reason why I'm blessed the way that I am, one of the reasons I'm blessed the way that I am is because I keep a positive um, I keep a positive mindset at all times. Not only do I, well, I'm going to say all times, I'm going to say, 99% of the time I'm positive, okay? If I get negative, you can best believe, baby, some baby, somebody has really, really ruffled my feathers, okay? And even with people ruffling my feathers, I still don't become negative. Now I might say a little few choice words, praise God. But um I'm I'm not a negative person. And I'm a I'm a sure believer that whatever is on the inside of you is gonna come on the out. So if you're not a negative person on the inside, it's not gonna come out, okay? So because I stay positive, because I've created a positive atmosphere on this platform, because I've, that's why there's so much positivity. And I'm not saying that trying to toot my own horn or trying to um, make myself be more than what I am. But at the end of the day, I'm assured of the assignment. I understood the assignment. When God gave me the assignment to come on YouTube and to open up the platform, not just for myself, but for others, I understood the assignment. And God used me to do that because of the positivity that I carry, because of 
the um, spirit that I carry because of the good heart that I carry. He used me to birth an open door for many people to come behind on YouTube. And that's the reason why God has blessed me tremendously because I do not house the spirit of jealousy. I do not house the spirit of competition. And if you're going to be successful in this business or any other business, if those traits are within you, you're going to have to kill them. Okay. You're going to have to kill it before it kills you and i don't mean physically but hey it, hey you know jealousy has killed people okay um indirectly but i'm saying that to say it will kill your business it will kill your drive it will kill your ambition it will kill everything around you because anything negative does not um does not house prosperity anything negative does not is not the breeding grounds for prosperity and gain so if you have or contain any spirits within you that's not of god it's going to show up in your business okay it's going to show up everywhere you go um so i said all of that to say when you get out here in these streets guys keep a positive mindset there may be somebody around and i said that because i just went into a store right now, mind you, this is my second day going in this store. I just walked out with 12 baskets, okay? So that means yesterday I missed some items, and it also means that anybody that came behind me missed some items, or either they missed them or they just saw them and didn't want them, okay? Or it's a possibility that it might have not been out on the floor yesterday, right? But I was moving in a fast pace yesterday, and I realized that when I'm moving in a fast pace, I'll double back at the store at the end of the day just to see did I miss anything or did other people miss anything, right? So when I went in the store, I got like 12. Well, no, 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 no. I didn't get 12. Two, three, four. I got six. Why am I saying 12? I got six wire baskets, right? And I do realize that a lot of people were leaving them behind. But I got six wire baskets. And the lady said, um, a lady said, the lady that works there said, um, a lady came in here right after you did yesterday, and I hope that was not one of y'all that's watching me. And if it was, hey, let it be, let it be, okay? But she said, um, a lady came in right after you and was like, um, she said the cashier, I guess, told her that I had gotten, you know, had just came in and got all the baskets that was on sale. And so she was saying it as if the lady had like a negative, um, you know, negative feedback. Like, I know it's a lady going around buying all of the baskets. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm buying them all. If they in the store, I'm buying them all. If I have the money, and praise God that God has blessed me to do that. Because there was a time, if you've been following me, you know there was a time, baby, that I didn't have two quarters to rub together. And I did. I have, I used to have to borrow money to get my supplies. God has blessed me. And so, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, if they are in the store, Boss Lady Fee is going to clear the shelves. Y'all heard that saying, didn't you? It came from me, clearing the shelves. That's what I've taught since I have came on YouTube. If that's not your motto, you feel like, oh, well, I'm going to leave a few behind, then that's your business, okay? But the type of clientele that I have, the businesses and the um, customers that I serve, I need what I buy, okay? Everything that I buy, I need. So if it's in the store, that means that that was the blessing that God had predestined for me for that day, okay? And if I should decide to leave some behind, that'll be my business and that'll be my choice. So um, don't, um, uh, first thing is don't allow people to make you feel bad because you're in a blessed place. Don't let people make you feel bad because you're in a blessed place because God aligned you. See, I do this full time, right? So people that's working on jobs, people that's sleeping all day, people that's um, going in stores, talking to people that they see for two hours, they missing out. But because God has blessed me, and I'm not just saying I'm the only one blessed, okay? Please read what I'm saying and understand what I'm saying. Even if you don't fit those categories, you're still blessed, right? But God has blessed me um, to do this full time. So, you know, if you got a nine to five job, of course, you know, people are probably gonna get more than you get, all right? If that's your desire, 
um, to do this full time, then pray about it and, and wait for God to lead you to do what you do. But I've been an entrepreneur my whole entire life. I tell that all the time. So I died to be in this place that I'm in, okay? I've suffered to be in a place that I'm in. I've struggled to be in a place that I'm in. So when I am able to fill up a 20 foot trailer with supplies, guess what? God did that. You got a problem, what's that song? If you got a problem with how God blessed me, take it up with God, cause he did it. He's the one that did it. Um, so I said all of that, and it's a couple more things. I, I got off kind of on a tangent, cause that's not necessarily where I was going with this video. Um, the other thing is I wanted to the point I wanted to bring up is make sure that you guys are okay. These apps are great, but they're not God's. Okay, apps are great, but they're not God. And apps are great, that sounded a little religious, right? But apps are great, but they're not always accurate, okay? They're not always 100. So, there's something going on now with the Family Dollar app, which was going on one time with the Dollar General app, which has been going on on my phone with the Walmart app, where it's ringing up full price, but when you get it to the register, it's ringing up something else. With that being said, you guys, take the eye because they're gonna go by what's in the register, okay? You can scan all day long with your phone and they can scan all day long with those handheld guns. Every now and then, you'll meet a, um, a manager that will kind of waver that or go around it and you know change the price. But for the most thing, whatever that register reads, whatever comes through from that home office, that's what they're going to go with. So, um, if your scanner, if, listen, if somebody is, if there's 25,000 people on YouTube and everybody telling you they got these baskets for 50 cents, all these people are not living in the same city, y'all. They're not living in the same state, okay? So, please stop thinking, oh, it's not in my area. Oh, and I do understand that miles may vary, okay? Y'all, I've been doing this for 20 some years, okay? So all of this new stuff that everybody, I know that, okay? I know that, and I'm not saying this to say I'm a know-it-all, but expertise speaks, okay? And experience speaks. Experience is the best teacher, okay? That's how I'm able to tell you guys this because I've been doing it for so long. Although things are changing and times are changing, there's still a lot of things that are the same. The basis of it is the same. So, all of this stuff is not in one area, okay? If it's ringing up on your app, it's probably because there's an issue with the app. Go to the register. Don't ask for a price check. Just act like you're buying the item, okay? If you've seen these baskets on everybody's video, don't go up there and ask them to price check it because guess what? Most of the time, they're not going to ring it up on the register. They're going to pick up their handheld and scan it, which is going to do the same thing that your phone is doing. It's all the same thing, okay? What you want to do is act like you're buying it. If it's not on sale, baby, just, hey, um, ma'am, I don't want to get this. I don't care if they get mad because they will get mad. I don't care. I don't give a rip. That's what you're working here for. That's what you're getting paid here for. And I do understand if you ring up tons and tons of things and then take them off, sometimes it will throw up a flag. That's why I said ring up one thing at a time. And if it's not right, just ask them to take it off. And nine times out of 10, if you're kind to people, they'll be kind to you. Not all the time, but sometimes, most times, if you're kind, people will be kind. But if you already going in there with your jaws puffed up and you already got a undercover attitude baby people can read spirits people can read energy okay so listen i'm at my other store y'all and i have not said all i want to say but honey i'm at my next store and i'll be back and we'll do a round two part two or something but it's just different things i wanted you guys to know because i'll be reading the comments and a lot of you are missing out on sales because you are not you're not listening and some of you are going in videos and you're watching certain parts of the videos and then you're hopping off and then the nuggets that you really need to know or you really need to hear you missing out on them because you skimming and scamming through the videos like come on 
I don't know about nobody else, but the information I give, every now and then I get off on a tangent. But for the most part, every bit of information I give in a video is imperative. It's nuggets. It's information that's going to change your life. It's going to change your um, financial status. So keep those things in mind, y'all, and pay attention to the videos. I'm not up here just making videos for fun, okay? Anyway, guys, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all.